Hi friends, hope you are doing well. So today I'm going to answer a question which I'm being asked by several people and that is, what is age got to do with doing a PhD or a postdoc? Now, most countries in the world actually do not have any age restrictions as far as PhD or postdocs go. But unfortunately, there are some countries, typically highly populated countries, which put age restriction on PhD and postdoctoral candidates. And once I asked a person about the reason for this and what he mentioned is that the logic here is that essentially after a person finishes his or her PhD or his or her postdoc, there is a period of about 20 years or 25 years in which they have an active research life. And so if we give this person a PhD when he's 45 year old or 50 year old, then essentially he's only going to have 10 to 15 years of research life left and therefore what's the point of giving the person this degree. So I think this kind of mindset is essentially coming from a scarcity view of the world and so it's not necessarily a very good approach to take but unfortunately that's there in some countries. So if you are one of those people who are stuck in one of these countries and you are more than 35 years of age you could consider going to a foreign country and doing a PhD because as you well know, research, science and scholarship is a completely global activity. Journal papers publish papers from people throughout the world and therefore there is nothing like a science which is local to a certain country. There's nothing like French science or Japanese science or Indian science or Chinese science. Science is in general completely international. So essentially keeping that in mind, the first thing I would tell you is try to go to a country where you do not have any age restrictions as far as PhD and postdoc are concerned. Now, do I know some actual cases of such people? Well, actually I do. I know a person who actually went to Canada at age 55 plus and did a PhD. And I also know a person who actually went to US and was doing a postdoc beyond age 55. So these type of cases are certainly possible. Now, you need a supervisor who is very broad minded here and it will certainly help if this supervisor himself is also at a higher age, though that's not always necessary. There is no doubt of people who are young who are willing to guide a more older student because this person is essentially very mature and brings a lot of experience and skills to the table. So you need to actually find this kind of supervisor and then essentially join this university. Now one more question I am asked is that what to do after this kind of PhD. So if you are finishing your PhD or postdoc and you are let's say 45 or 55 years of age, what do you do? Well I think in this kind of situation the assistant professor, associate professor, professor route is a very difficult one to take. And therefore, because you are finishing your PhD at a late stage of life, you're not going to have a record which is going to get you a full professor position. So I would say that that's not a good option for you, but there are several options which are possible. One of them, of course, is you can join a teaching faculty position because that's not going to require you to write papers and do research and so on. So it may be possible for you to become a professor at some school and essentially this pro your school may credit you for the experience you have had before you finished your PhD. Now there are some universities where actually it may be possible where you are bringing something else to the table. For example, if you spend a lot of time working in the industry, working in the government, working in national labs or even working in the military, the university may feel that it can give you a position as a professor directly or as an associate professor directly. And what you may do is you may do a different set of activities. So you may be more concerned with actually setting up a department or a center or trying to solicit funds from the government or the private sector companies and so on. So these options would be possible within the academic system. Now, if we talk of the industry route, industry generally doesn't care too much about age. If you are able to bring skills to the table, which is going to enhance their profitability and you can show that you have certain skills, they may take you. Certainly, if you have built up some managerial and industrial expertise, that's going to 
be a huge benefit because now you have put the PhD and the postdoc on top of that. So suddenly you can jump various levels and maybe even get a pretty high end job in the government. So sometimes small companies like startups and all are looking for people to fill in some kind of vice president role in some research division and all and they really want to bring in a more senior person so somebody who has got a phd late in life but who has done a lot of work before that can be very useful here so these are some of the possible paths which you can take if you are a older phd student or postdoc and therefore it's not much to worry about except if you are stuck in one of those countries which has severe age limits for everything so there are countries which have age limits for phd age limit for assistant professors age limit for scientist positions and so on then you may need to get out of this country and go somewhere else or within that same country you can go to the private sector because the private sector generally does not have such draconian age limits so essentially many people can use their skills in the private sector in such cases so that was my take on age and the PhD postdoc and I will see you in a video sometime soon. See you then.